Peace and love to the beautiful family on this wonderful Sunday. This is Darius Corbin reporting live. I thank you for tuning in. Now, Saturday, Saturday evening, I made a post on Facebook and I asked a question. What is your idea of yourself? How do you view yourself? That wasn't a trivia question. That was a real question. That was a serious question. It wasn't a trivia question. It was a serious question. How do you view yourself? What is your idea of yourself? You know, a lot of people out there, believe it or not, whether you may want to talk about it or not talk about it, a lot of people out there go through depression, go through anxiety, go through stress. And every day may seem like a battle to them. Hell, every day is a battle for them. But I want you to know, for the people who go through that, that there is an answer, there is a remedy, there is a solution. And it starts with you. And I'm talking about the power of the mind, the power of your thoughts, the powers of your ideas. And I know you have heard this many times, many books, many seminars, but this is totally different. Because even the master teacher Jesus told you this about the power of your mind. The apostle St. Paul told you the same thing when he told you the father and I are one. A lot of us, we may even give others certain views that we accept. Others may have certain ideas about us that we accept. Some of us may give more power to others than we do ourselves. This video is for you as well. You have to understand that you are your greatest achievement once you know the power of who you are. This is serious. You cannot focus on the past and you cannot focus on the future. Presently, right now, where you at is going to be the greatest time of your life once you know it. Every day when you wake up is a new start, a fresh day, another day. No, each day is a new day for you to walk out that door with a positive mind, positive thoughts lined with God. The Father and I are one. Understand that you are your biggest achievement once you give yourself the credit. And I'm going to break some stuff down for you right quick. So I thank you for your time. By the time you end this video, you're going to have a better understanding of you and the power that you have. And before I start, I want to give a major thank you to the people who have said these videos have empowered them. These videos have lifted them and motivated them because behind the scenes, I hear a lot of people and I get a lot of messages for people telling me how inspired they are, telling me do not stop making these videos. I think Christ said it the best. Where two or more are gathered in my name, I am with them. So I thank you. Understand these videos are for you. Expired. Inspired by you. And motivated by you. So let's get started. <clears throat> the study of mind intrigues the imagination of everyone. Not alone because mankind is incurably curious about life and his environment, but also because, and listen to this folks, but also because he is discovering that the ideas which he accepts into his mind group themselves around some central idea and these ideas functioning around that dominant idea like an army functions around his general determines whether he be healthy or diseased, wealthy or impoverished. Now, I'm going to stop right quick. I want you to take 15 to 20 seconds to ponder on that question I asked yesterday and that I asked again today before I go in again. What is your idea of yourself? How do you view yourself? 15 and 20 seconds. All right. I'm going to read that again. And then I'm going to go in. The study of mind intrigues the imagination of everyone. Not alone. Because mankind is incurably 
curious about life and his environment, but also because he is discovering that the ideas which he accepts into his mind group themselves around around the same central idea and these ideas function around that dominant idea like an army function around its general. Determines whether he be healthy or diseased, wealthy or impoverished. Now, we have always heard the saying, as a man thinking, so is he. As a man thinking, so is he. I think it was Descartes who said, I think, therefore I am. See, once you start understanding the power and who the master Jesus really was, you're going to figure out this one thing. He was one of the greatest mind scientists of all times. Because when Jesus taught, he taught the science of mind. Understand that. You, with your mind, are connected to God, the divine mind. But you will only understand that once you go within yourself. In the Bible, it tells you the kingdom of heaven is within. Once you understand that you cannot look outside of yourself for nothing, everything about you has to start within you. Because once you realize that the power starts within, you're going to activate this dormant energy that has been waiting for you almost like a lost best friend to reunite with your higher self. And once you reunite, reunite with your higher self family, there's this energy, this spirit that comes alive. And once you align yourself with the power of Christ and God, as it is known in the esoteric knowledge, my gosh. So I'm going to read this again in its entirety. I may stop to leave a message at the end, but I want you to read this in its entirety. Let's go again. The study of mind intrigues the imagination of everyone, not alone because mankind is incurably curious about life and his environment, but also because he is discovering that the ideas which he accepts into his mind group themselves around some central idea. And these ideas function around that dominant idea like an army functions around its general, determines whether he be healthy or diseased, wealthy or impoverished. It has been discovered that the sum of a person's mental equipment follows this dominant idea with the same obedience that an army follows its leader. We're talking about your thoughts here, people, and your ideas. In short, man's consciousness is like a comet. The head of the comet is the dominant idea, and this is what determines the orbit of the comet, or the dominant idea in your consciousness is what determines your condition in life. Now, once you understand, go back in your Bible and read who Christ was talking to, the power he was talking with, and where he was trying to tell you that power resides. Once you understand that he was a master teacher in the science of mind, then you can pick that Bible back up. And you can understand it in its entirety. I'm going to keep on going. The movement of the comet is determined by the influence of other heavenly bodies. But man, oh, the power within man. Supreme master of himself and his environment determines his own orbit. 
Let's give him a Shakespeare quote right quick, Corbin. Okay, let's do it. Shakespeare once said, man bestrides, that's B-E-S-T-R-I-D-E-S, -E -E Google that word. Man destroys the world like a colossus. That's C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S. -S -S. Google that word. Man bestrides the world like a colossus, while we puny men peep about beneath his legs looking for dishonorable graves. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in our in ourselves, that we are underlings. Shakespeare was a great mystic. It is known to some people that Shakespeare had a hand in writing the Bible, but that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. Shakespeare understood. Shakespeare saw that man has been created to have dominion over all things, even as the Bible has stated. But this dominion is of and within himself. So, you have a power, my beautiful people, that as governed have already been gifted by you, for you, by God. But you can only access that when you realize the power that is within you through the divine mind, through the dot, excuse me, through the divine father. You do are you understanding? No. When Christ said the kingdom is within you, you have a hidden country within you, a power that some people, even in this lifetime, never access because it lays dormant because most people think they are poor worms, think they are beneath the power, when in actuality, what Christ was trying to tell you that the power is yours, shout out to Captain Planet. Ah, we're 12 minutes already. Let me wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. The change of mental movement of the individual is like the changing of direction of a comet. The dominant idea must be changed, and this ne necessitates a change in the whole composition of the mind. And is possible only through mental training and practice. Thus, we see the fertility of trying to change universal mental laws by violent efforts of an untrained mind. The impossibility of changing universal laws of life by or through prayer or the notification of universal laws through denial or affirmations. I'm going to stop there because I, I don't want you to miss the point of what I'm trying to say at the end. In Romans 12, 2, it says, do not, you, do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind. This is telling you your thoughts and ideas of yourself form together like an army that listens to its leader. You are the leader. So what I am saying is one way to understand the power that is within you is to realize that you must change the way you think of yourself and the ideas of you, of you that you have of yourself if those thoughts and ideas do not correlate and go line with God, which is prosperity, harmony, health, joy. And I think I mentioned prosperity already. So at the end of the day, for my people going through anxiety, depression, stress, it's things in life you just got to let go. Do not let others come around you and influence you with their ideas and thoughts because now your power that is within you is now being given away to somebody else's. So I start off with saying, and I finish, finish with saying, what is your idea of yourself? How do you view yourself? Because the moment you start giving yourself more praise and more power, you're going to see results. It can start with denials and affirmations. But even then, if you're not going by faith and you're not training yourself each day, then those denials and affirmations mean nothing. 
Line yourself up with the power of Christ. Give yourself more credit. When you start your day, when you walk off that door, start with a fresh start. Love yourself and watch the power of God work through you. This is Darius Corbin. Peace and love. See you soon.